Alrighty, so it's time for some more testing with a 6mm arc. Today we're going to use PowerPro 2000MR, Winchester, number 41 small rifle primers, and our Hornady brass that we sized down. Now, I ended up with some issues with focus on my camera for the first part of the video here. So what we're going to start with is some five shot groups starting at 28.6 grains and working our way up to 29.5 grains in three tenths increments. So I think this is a good starting range um, as far as getting us to a decent velocity, kind of based on Hornady's load data. Now they list a load, a max load of 30.9 grains, but from my experience, I'm thinking 30.9 is going to be way too high. Now we have to shoot this at 2.225 cartridge overall length because these hit the lands of my rifle at 2.235. So we're going to jump out to the range and you're going to see a really quick kind of shooting of all of these groups and then we're going to come back and talk about some things. So I'll see you back in a minute. Alrighty, so it looks like a pretty good group over there. All right here, so this is the target that you just saw us shoot, starting out at 28.6 grains and working our way up to 29.5. Now, looking at this target, that first group looks really promising, but we ended up with that 16.0 SD, and the velocity is quite low. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to shoot five three-shot groups at 29.2 grains. We were just under 2,700 feet per second, and we had a good 9.7 SD and it looked like it was trying to group. So we're gonna to try to tune this with our overall length. We're gonna start out at 2.225, which is what we shot today, and work our way down to 2.201 in 6 tenths increments. So we're gonna go ahead and get out on the range and see if we can tune this load a little bit further. Alrighty, we are out here on the range. The target's at 100 yards. This is my Savage 110 switchback. You'll see the descriptions of the gun on the screen there. Um, we're doing the overall length test today. Um, we're starting out at that 2.225 overall length and we're going shorter in 6,000 increments. So you'll see the actual numbers there kind of on the target. Kind of using those on the target to give you a general idea, but we really use cartridge based ogive to measure all these. So, gun is cold, nice day to shoot, about 40 degrees, a little bit of breeze, not too bad. We're gonna go ahead and magazine feed these and we're getting velocity through our lab radar. We are doing three shot groups just to kind of try to see where we're at for what's going to be our best overall length. All right, pretty decent start there with the first overall length, which we kind of knew it was going to be because we uh, used that same load with a five shot group in an earlier video. Let's see where our velocity average was. Now I probably won't talk about velocity average for all these because they should be about the same, but I will throw them up on the screen. Just for reference, that one was 2647 average with a 12.6 SD. But like I said, I will throw them up on the screen in case you guys are interested in how velocity changes as we go shorter in overall length. All right, so moving shorter here. All 
All right, so a little bit of point of impact shift change there. Wonder if that's from uh, the barrel warming up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna continue to move shorter with our overall length. So far, not a humongous change, really probably in group size, which maybe that tells us this, this bullet is pretty tolerant to overall length in my gun. We are shooting these relatively quick too uh, because we're not taking a look at the brass or anything like that. We're kind of just cycling them through. The barrel's warm, but it's by no means hot. That last one there looked like it was trying to group maybe a little tighter than the other ones. Our velocity there was fairly consistent too. And now it is three shot group, so I don't know how much it matters, but 2644 feet per second with a 6.2 SD. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our shortest overall length here. So definitely the worst group there at the end. Again, the barrel's not hot, so don't think it's a barrel heat thing. All right, so pretty interesting overall length test there. Um, definitely as we got a little bit shorter there, it tightened up and then we opened up there at the end. Now for what it's worth, our SD was pretty bad on our last group as well. Don't know if that's what screwed it up or not, but let's get over there. Let's take a closer look at this target. All right, so taking a look at our target from our overall length test, um, I think it's pretty good results here. As you can tell, that first group shot pretty good at just, just about half an inch at 2647 feet per second and a 12.6 SD. So we've lost a little velocity since our last test. Now moving across, um, we shot another about a half inch group at 0 0.59 inches, 2662 and a 5.2 SD. And then moving along to our best group of the day, and the one that I think I'm going to use is at 2.207 cartridge overall length. It's got a nice even shape to the group. We shot a 0 0.39 inch group, 2644 feet per second, and a 6.2 SD. So I think what I'll do next, I think pretty soon here, you guys will see this 2.207 inch overall length load at about 600 yards and we'll see how it fares. I didn't really talk much about the brass. There's really not much to see. I don't think I wanna push up much higher and put any more damage through my brass because I've been pushing this six arc brass pretty hard so far. I apologize for the camera issues on the first rain trip, but I think I got them worked out for the second. So thank you guys for watching. You guys are always asking for us to try to tune alone with overall length. So there you go. We'll see you next time.